What's up guys, hope you all are doing well. Today I got it to talking about Zero Termux. Do you know Zero Termux? Zero Termux is a non-profit software developed based on Termux emulator. The difference between Termux and Zero Termux, that is backup and recovery, container switching, source function switching, Linux distribution Ubuntu Kali, and other tools and super cool features. Okay, let's start with Zero Termux. After installing then open the Zero Termux. Read or skip, then scroll down and agree on the notice. Note, scroll down at the end of the agreement, otherwise the agree button won't work. Double click on the right screen. Here this is keyboard control, for keyboard showing or hiding. And here this, for new session creation. Simply click here to create a new session. Double click in the middle of the terminal. Here this is also keyboard control settings. And the conversation is the same as the new session. And next one is help. Help is for finding commands and their information details. You can scroll or search here to find your commands. Like as I'm searching CD command and hear this. Sorry guys, I don't understand Chinese, so I'm skipping this. I already request to the div for releasing an English translation version. Here this is back in exit button. Use two fingers on the terminal, the tool will pop up on the screen. Here this is clipboard and other tools. You can find here some useful tools and resources. Give the Termux storage permission by using Termux-setup-storage. Double click on the left side on the terminal. Here you can see the zero Termux and engine versions. And the next one is server version, and another is local IP. And on the right side, first one is source functions. And the next one is online script. You can find here some online scripts, and which can be easily run from here. Easily click the run button on the right side of the script for script running. And the third one is container switching. You can create a new container from here. Enter your new container name and then sure. Click the created container and then switch. We successfully switch our created container. Hear this, and we can also create another. And easily can delete the extra container. And the next one is backup or restore, that means container management. You can backup your container with three different types of file formats, that is tar.gz, tar.bz2 and tar.xc. And the tar.gz recommended from div, but you can choose any one. And also you can easily restore your backup container from here. Okay, then the next one is Linux and another one is 0BBS. And then 0 function. You can find here some GitHub resources. The first one is custom server tools. You can create your own server using this tool. And the next one is Termux ADB and the another is Networkdir. In this tutorial I'm covering the basics, so sometimes I'm skipping some topics. Okay, by the way, then the next one is VSE. Here you can find three type of VSE. Fast, Custom and Advanced VSE. 
Ok, the next is official plugin. Here you can find Zero Termux API, Tasker, Boot, Styling and Termux X11 plugin. You can easily install them, like as I'm showing API installation. Simply click the API and then determine and install. Simple. After that the next is Kimu, it means quick emulator. It is a free and open source emulator. It emulates the machine's processor through dynamic binary translation and provides a set of different hardware and device models for the machine, enabling it to run a variety of guest operating systems. You can find here Kimu of the C, Zero or Utermox simulation, Windows 7 simulation and Windows XP etc. operating systems for run with Kimu. And the next is Download Station. This is the main public repository of Zero Termux. Here you can get the Zero Termux, Engine, GDAK, VSE, and also Windows, Linux, etc. application, ROMs, and files updates. Here is the Zero Termux latest engine. You can download and install from here. OK, the next is Public Warehouse. You can connect a custom server from here. And the next is Command Editing. Here you can add or save your commands. Simply click the Add options. Enter here the command name and then enter the command. Like as I'm saving ls command. ls that means list of files. Name list files and the command is ls. Click OK to save. Simply click the command then it will be run. You can also import and export your comments from here. And can delete or modify the saved commands. The next is Mo All Tools and another is SMS or Call Tools. And then open directory means the file manager, material file manager. Determine and then install. And then start up, on off, try with yours. Then floating window, determine that install. Long press and go to the Zero Termux Float application settings. Turn on display over other apps. Open the float. Zoom out in and drag to change the destination. Click the icon for minimization. Run exit and then click the icon for exiting. And then experimental function. Network ADB for root user, then Alpine Linux and old launcher, try with yours. Then beautify settings, it is a very interesting and cool setting. This one is for changing font color. And the next is background color. Turn on font color transparency up pick. Hide back font on the terminal. This one. Also you can add a custom background picture on the terminal. Click the plus icon and select your background picture. Select your picture then click OK. Now change the background color and see the magic. Looks pretty cool.
Anytime you can also change the background image from here. Okay, now the next is font settings. No font where found. We need to add custom fonts here. Okay, open the open directory that is Material File Manager. Okay, this is internal storage, which means phone storage. And this is Utermux, which is zero Termux default storage. Go to the internal storage. I downloaded this font from the internet. Copy the font. Go to the Shinhao folder. Then font. Paste here. Okay, back to the zero termux. Font settings. Here this is our custom fonts. Simply click the font and then determine. Reopen the zero termux. Hear this, our custom fonts were successfully added. Okay, the next is full screen mode. Then snowflake effects. Looks pretty cool. Okay, then language switching. Currently available only Chinese and English. Okay, guys, that's it. The general discussion about the Zero Termux. Thanks for watching, and don't forget like and subscribe.